Ah, Coca-Cola, the world's most famous soft drink. And I'm sitting here in Columbus, Georgia, in the building where this drink was invented, according to Coca-Cola's historian, Phil Mooney. My name is Dr. Richard Gardner from Columbus State University, and this is a Muskogee County School District podcast, the origins of Coca-Cola in Columbus, Georgia, and Dr. John Pemberton. John Pemberton was born in Knoxville, Georgia on July 8, 1831. After attending the Southern Botanico College in Macon, he got married and had a child and settled in this house in Columbus, Georgia. Pemberton was a pharmacist, and as such, he made medicinal oils that he called cure-alls, because supposedly if you took them, they would cure everything. By 1860, Pemberton's pharmacy in Columbus was doing so well that he was able to purchase the house that you see behind me, it was about four miles north of Columbus. That same year, however, the United States got into great turmoil as Lincoln was elected and all the southern states decided to secede to break off and start their own country. As a Georgian, John Pemberton was a very loyal southerner, and as such, he joined Wheeler's Cavalry at the beginning of the Civil War. Near the end of the war, however, he came back here to Columbus, Georgia, and led a group of soldiers called the Columbus Guards. Their job would be to protect the city of Columbus in the event that it came under attack from the Yankees. Well, in April of 1865, the city of Columbus came under attack. Colonel Pemberton brought his men here to the upper bridge that leads from Alabama into Columbus, Georgia. He brought his men here, and here is where he got into a sword fight with a Yankee cavalryman. Pemberton was slashed across his chest, and it created an awful wound that bothered him for the rest of his life. Here's what one of his friends said about that event that occurred here in April of 1865. His company surrendered after the last battle of the war at Columbus, Georgia. He was wounded by my side in the fight at Columbus, 16th of April, 1865. After he was shot and cut with a saber, I caught the bit of the bridle of his horse and took charge of the horse while he held the horn of the saddle to keep from falling off. Pemberton and his men lost the battle that took place here. And remarkably, this would turn out to be the last battle of the whole Civil War. Right here where Pemberton was wounded, the Civil War's last battle ended. If it weren't for his wound, however, none of us may have ever tasted a Coca-Cola. Here's why. As a result of the pain of his wounds, Pemberton took a lot of medicine, a painkiller called morphine. But taking a lot of morphine is dangerous. It is very addicting. So after the war, Pemberton became determined to invent a formula that might substitute for morphine. According to the Coca-Cola Company's historian, Mr. Phil Mooney, it was here where the Eagle Drug and Chemical Pharmacy was in Columbus, Georgia, that Pemberton invented a formula he called French Wine Coca. Over the next few years, Dr. Pemberton would take it to Atlanta and experiment with it until it was perfected. His friend Frank Robinson suggested a name for Pemberton's new drink, Coca-Cola. Robinson took a pen and wrote the name of the drink with these fancy letters. Dr. Pemberton had no way of knowing how popular and profitable his drink would become. As a matter of fact, needing money, Pemberton sold the recipe to Asa Candler in 1887 for a very small amount of money. The year after Pemberton sold his drink to Candler, he died. We're here in Columbus, Georgia, where he was laid to rest in 1888 in the historic Linwood Cemetery. Shortly after he died, some changes had to come to his drink. Because it contained the narcotic cocaine, there had to be some obvious adjustments. And then in 1919, two men from Columbus, Georgia, Ernest Woodruff and W.C. Bradley, 
purchased Coca-Cola and made it into the international drink that it is today. This has been the story of John Pemberton and the genesis of Coca-Cola from Columbus, Georgia. My name is Dr. Rick Gardner from Columbus State University. This has been a Muskogee County School District podcast. John Pemberton.